So I wanna do a video real quick on all the stuff that I carry with me when I go on site. Um, I've seen a few other technicians kind of post about this. They wanna know, you know, what do you have in the bag that you carry on? What do you bring with you when you go on site to a customer? I do mostly a lot of networking when I'm going there as in physical um, as testing switches and other related devices. So I have probably a leaning towards a network gear with some USB drives to help solve some software problems. Bag I carry is nothing real special, just a uh, HP bag with a lot of pockets, a lot of zippers, and a uh, carry handle with some wheels on the bottom because I do find it handy sometimes because well, by the time I load all this stuff in here and my current laptop is an Elite Book 8460 which by itself is a beast of a laptop um, and it's kind of heavy so sometimes I don't want to carry it and this is, bag is pretty good for that. It is also an HP bag. I don't have any affiliation with HP or really mine. I just happened to get it because someone gave it to me for free, brand new. Uh, said, hey, I have these old bags. Do you want one? I said, sure. I looked. I'm like, it still has the tags. And he goes, oh, I never used them. So uh, I got it for free. So that's where it came from. It does have these really cool pouches uh, that have Velcro backs and a stick inside the bag, which I think is really novel for keeping all this stuff organized. And then I'm going to break down here all the stuff that I carry with me and all the stuff that I put in here so it doesn't just wander on the bags because I'm very, um, when I get somewhere, I never like to be digging through my bag. I like to get to the thing I need and not make a giant mess. That is important. It's also a customer perception that if you're tearing through lots of tangled wires, how are you supposed to solve their problem of something that works? working if you yourself don't appear to be organized. So I think that's actually an important aspect and uh, this and these Velcro strips help a lot. So I have all the stuff broke down and organized so I can uh, one, show it to you, plus I kind of do an inventory because occasionally I lose things and leave things here and there and I make sure it's all here before I go on site and go, man, I wish I had that. So uh, a couple of small screwdrivers here for doing uh, some of the basics like you know, taking things apart. Uh, these are just your Pittsburgh expert ones from Harbor Freight. They actually work really good and they're about $7. They're pretty handy. Um, I keep a rubber band around this because when it opens, it likes to poke through here. Uh, just your standard needle nose pliers. Very handy when people have just pulled things apart and popped them in there. Like I said, these are little Velcro baggies I'm putting stuff in. Um, these are the eGoGo Velcro, and the eGoGo Velcros are really nice. It's uh, one side's like this, and the other side's Velcro, so one's the grippy side. They hold all this stuff together. They work really well, uh, but they're really great for organizing and do a great job, and they're really inexpensive. I'll leave an Amazon link where you can get these, but I always uh, have extras besides what I have all tied up. Uh, having extras is nice because, well, I go places, people leave a wiring mess, I clean up the wiring mess, and um, I like to leave it that way. Uh, a couple different USBs, I have three of them, I just keep them handy. Uh, they can be anything, my laptop's always with me. I generally keep one as a bootable uh, Linux, but I gotta copy drivers from one computer to another, maybe something that's offline uh, can be kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, it's really nice to always have a handful of USBs, sometimes just a copy of a file that I need to get over to something. So, there's those. Uh, HDMI and VGA cable. I do presentations occasionally, occasionally, and so sometimes I need to go out here and uh, have an HDMI or this to plug in to do the presentation. Um, and then an audio cable in case I need to feed audio out of my laptop into some type of sound system. But they're just standard um, six foot cables that are really handy. Now USB cables, I have all the different types. My phone being a Nexus is a USB-C, so I've got the USB-C, I've got a uh, USB mini and a USB micro for your phones. Those are just always handy to have and the same thing I got these little velcro going around there. Now I have a USB network adapter. Now this works in Linux, Mac, and Windows and it's really handy when you can't figure out what's wrong with the networking on a computer. Sometimes you can just plug this in it and solve the problem immediately. It's amazing how many times you, if you're trying to diagnose a network card or you have a flaky problem, uh, these are really handy. This is a Cable Matters one. I think it was $13. They're really inexpensive and just a great thing to keep in your toolkit because if you're troubleshooting a network problem and you're not sure if the laptop has the network uh, issue or if it's the jack or if it's the wire, you can have one more test to verify that it works or you can plug your laptop in and plug it in there, but this is pretty handy. Um, and I've given these away. I've had one, I solved it with a bad network jack, and I just end up going, eh, you know, I'm already done, it's fixed now, do you just want to have this USB one? They're only 10 100 or not gigabit because of the speed limitation of USB, but it gets the job done and gets them back online. USB charger, of course. 
Now, these are important too. These are crossovers. So if you have a straight through cable and you want to make it a crossover, you can just snap it right on there. Now, most switches these days are auto sensing, auto switching, so it's not as relevant as it used to be. But I will tell you, I've run into times where this just worked um, as a, you know, as a solution. I get the Cat 6 ones because, you know, they're rated for Cat 6, but they, of course, are completely backwards compatible. Um, the Cat 6 ones are the same price, so I ordered those. Now, these are network joiners. If you've ever wanted to have your network, have two network cables join together because it's just out of reach, these are incredibly handy to have. And uh, it's happened to me more than once where something just comes up a little short and you're like, oh, you just grab one of these, snap them together, and away you go. But gr really handy thing to keep in your toolkit. Now, this is the flat cables. These are all from Monoprice. I really like these flat cables. These are cool. So these flat cables right here is a 25 foot flat network cable. They weigh nothing. I've done speed tests because I was kind of curious if they uh, if they had any issues. They also have the little boot squeeze on them, but there's no speed degradation or loss on this. So it's 20 foot of flat uh, category 5E cable and then I have a shorter six foot one, but they roll up easy fold them in half, put them on there, they're super, it's not even a challenge to get them on here. And to get comparison, 25 foot cable here, 25 foot cable here. So much more bulky and non-manageable and not squeezable into a condensed package when you have the standard round network cable. So this is great, 25 feet when I need it, because uh, sometimes where I can put my laptop and where I can plug it into a switch are not as close as I'd like them to be. Um, I also have this, this is a great device. Instantly, you have nice, same thing, flat network cable, and it snaps and pulls together like this, and it's on a spring load, goes right back closed, and away you go. So this is a little six-footer, same thing, monoprice, great little tool to have. So these are really handy, and they just go straight in the bag. I do keep one standard extra network cable always in my bag, and I always end up giving these away. I go somewhere, and they just needed one cable to get something hooked up because something was broke. So I keep one standard one because I don't want to have to give away my flat ones. I learned that lesson already. Uh, when you're connecting switches and have to jump a few things, it's nice to keep a couple shorties available, and uh, they're always handy, and they're next to nothing. We just sit and make a bunch of these. There's handmade ones. Now, if you have to recrimp a cable, I keep these in here. I put a Velcro strap around it so it doesn't fly out. Uh, I got a couple keystones in here and a handful of ends and jacks. And of course, at the same time, got the crimper. So if I find a bad jack, I can swap it out. If I have just a bad crimp, I can cut the end off a wire and recrimp it real quick. Uh, oddly, that just is a more common problem than I expect because you know we've seen a lot of technicians do some really bad work, and when they're trying to troubleshoot the network, that's something we run into. Uh, extra power, another little you know cheap thing to keep in your bag, but you may need somewhere to plug in where you need one more extra plug, uh, and you can just snap this out real quick. Real handy to have. I do more phone work than I'd like to admit. I, I wish analog phones would go away. They haven't. And I've punched down a lot of 66 blocks. It's actually still handy. This gets used more than I'd like it to. But it's a convenient little thing to keep in your package. Just having a little punch down there. Black tape. Electrical tape. Super handy. Things just need to be taped occasionally because, you know, when you're in a mess going, okay, this is the temporary solution is I'm going to tape it back together or you just want to put some wires together. I do not like taping any type of wires together unless it's a necessity, uh, but it has become necessity and I highly recommend keeping a roll of black tape. It's so inexpensive to keep in there. Now, I've done a review on this, this Microsoft keyboard. It is the Microsoft uh, US, sorry, Microsoft Bluetooth keyboard. I really like this and I have many times taken this out during meetings, quickly type notes, or when I'm finishing something for a client, if I didn't even plug my laptop in, but I want to send an email or make some notes real quick, it's so handy while you're at the job site, flip this open, set my phone right in here in the dock, and it's ready to go. I can type up some notes, send the client an email, maybe make a little decision real quick, and you're like, okay, here's the email, here's what needs to be done, boom, 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 dispatch one of my guys on a job. It's just really handy to have to flip it open and try to type it all on here, because sometimes when you're trying to document a problem, there's a little bit more than a couple words you gotta type to you know, send over the details, so it's really handy to have. And one of the last things that I keep in there 
is a book my daughter gave me forever ago. It's a 101 wacky computer jokes. Uh, they're really bad and they're funny to read because sometimes I'm sitting there and I've been in uh, basements where I have no internet access and I'm waiting on something to restart or waiting on a, a vendor call from AT&T or one of the vendors for an outage. I, I'm kind of stuck and dead there and I'd love to pick this silly book up and read something real quick. And uh, it it's really, well, like I said, it's silly, but it's something else I keep in there. So that's pretty much it for what I keep in my uh, technician's bag. Maybe you have some suggestions of things I'm missing, but these are the things I use a lot. So these are the things that I've uh, decided to keep in there. And thank you for watching. And if you like the content, click like and subscribe. And I'm trying to keep producing more. Thanks.